Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of Tech Quantum. I am Rachit and in this video we will take a step by step walkthrough of how to configure a business event endpoint in Dynamics 365 to send out notifications to an Azure service bus topic. As a part of this uh, tutorial, what we will do is configure a service bus, an Azure Key Vault, and a Azure Web Application, and then we will configure the endpoint in Dynamics. Once the endpoint is activated, we will send out a payload by performing a business event in Dynamics and see how it looks in the service bus. So let's get started. So I am in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. In order to configure business event endpoints, we have to go to business events catalog screen and we have to go to endpoint section where we can add new endpoints. So when we click a new endpoint, we can see that there are various type of endpoints which are supported by Dynamics 365 out of the box. For this demo, we are going to configure Azure Service Bus Topic as an endpoint. Let's click Next. Now when we select Azure Service Bus Topic as an endpoint, we need to provide a topic name and some key vault information like application ID, secret, DNS name and the secret name. So let's go ahead and configure all of this in Azure Portal. So now I am in Azure Portal and let's create a new Service Bus. For this demo purpose, we will use a prefix of a namespace TQT365. And I will provide my region. Because we have to create a topic, we have to choose standard or a premium pricing. We cannot create topic in a basic pricing tier. So we click on review and create. The validation is successful. We will create the service bus. We can see deployment is in progress. Let's wait for it to finish the deployment. Okay, so now the deployment is complete. Let's go to the service bus. And now we create a topic for the service bus. So we click on plus and we give a name for the topic. We'll click on create. Now for the demo purpose, I am keeping default settings the way they are coming. In real time, you might have to discuss with your architecture team on the naming conventions and other Azure related settings. Now once the topic is created, we will create a subscription so that it can listen to the topic whenever a payload is received. So we click on subscriptions and we click on add a subscription. And I'll set max delivery count as 1000 and we click on create. All right, I clicked it twice, that's why the error came. But now we can see that we have a subscription created for the topic. Now what we have to do is on this service bus, we have to define a shared access policy which allows listening to this particular service bus. So I'll call this policy D365BE and I say send policy. Now when I create this shared access policy, system will generate some um, connection strings which we need to define in the key vault. So I will just copy the primary connection string. 
all right so we are done with creation of service bus and now we will go ahead and create a new azure key vault where we will store the details of the service bus uh, connection string so we click on create new key vault we click on new here we select a resource group and then we give it a name select the region and we can keep the pricing tier at as a standard so let's go ahead and create the key vault okay so the key vault is created let's go to the key vault and here we have to define the secret so we go to the keyboard secret click on generate secret and here we will paste the connection endpoint from the service bus uh, shared access policy which we copied and we can give a name we can give it a name and remember this is the name we have to provide in the dynamics so we click i'll just copy this name and i give it in the key vault secret name we click on create so now we have created the secret in the key vault let's go back to the key vault and also copy the key vault dns name which we have to define in the setup here we also have to define the service bus topic name so let's uh, go and define it so i'll just go to the topic and copy the name now let me call it uh, dq select the service bus q as premium now we need to create a new azure web application and we have to generate a secret for it so let's click on new app registration click on new registration we click on register here now once the application is registered we will get the application ID which we can copy and update in the business event endpoint settings now we need to define the secret in order to generate a secret we go to app registration certificates and secrets and click on new client secret we just give it a name here and we click on add we can change define the expiry as per our need so here we see the secret value and we have to copy it here and this is the only time we see the secret value so if you want to save it somewhere in a secure location we can save it so we have defined the azure application secret now we have to do one very important step which is to link this azure application to the azure key vault and that is required in order to provide the access so for that what we have to do is we go back to the key vault and we click on access policies and we click on add access policy here in the secret permissions we have to select get and list and then in the principle we have to select the azure web application which we just created so if i search for tqd 365 this is the web application which we just created we click on add and one very important thing here is to click on save 
once you select the application if you don't click on save here the access policy is not added so with this we are done with the setup which we need to do in the azure portal just to summarize we have created a service bus topic we have created a key vault and a new web application so let's go back here and we click on ok and our endpoint is successfully added in Dynamics 365 so now let's activate this endpoint and see how the event payload looks in Azure portal when it is sent out from Dynamics so in the business event catalog we can see different type of business events which are supported by Dynamics 365 out of the box uh, for this scenario let's create a event on when the purchase order is confirmed and we click on the event and we click on activate we select in which legal entity we want to activate it so let's keep USMF and we select the endpoint name so here we can define which endpoint is listening to this business event we click on OK now if we go to active events we can see that I have defined an active event on the business event of uh, purchase order confirmation which is being listened by the new endpoint which we added so let's go ahead and confirm a purchase order and see how it looks in the Azure portal so I am going to all purchase orders list page and I will uh, post a confirmation of a purchase order so in order to keep it uh, quick I will modify an existing order and reconfirm it so I am on purchase order number uh, 000039 I will add it the purchase order change the quantity to 250 and click on save button now I can confirm the purchase order now when Dynamics is processing the purchase order confirmation the business event framework is actually listening to this and is capturing some key information about this process which will be sent as a JSON payload in the Azure portal if we quickly look at the business event catalog for the confirm purchase order event we can see which fields are sent out so here on the right hand side you can see these are the fields which are related to the purchase order confirmation which will be sent out as a JSON payload we can actually download the schema as well so if we download the schema we can see that the purchase order event uh, payload will look something like this let's go ahead in the Azure portal and go to the so let's go to Azure service bus and see the payload which we have received so we go to service bus and we go to the topic and let's open the explorer to see any messages which we have received from Dynamics So I'll select a subscription and I will peek and here we can see I have received a JSON payload which is in the same format which we saw in Dynamics. So here we have received the purchase order journal number and we have received more information about that purchase order. Now with this we have got the key information in our Azure service bus topic and we can take it to the next level by building integrations around it. So I hope this video gives you a good understanding of how to configure a business event endpoint in Dynamics 365 to talk to a Azure service bus. If you like the video, please hit the like button and leave your comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video and stay connected. Take care.